Now in this last part, we're asked to show that when f of x equals zero, the root of that equation is going to be x equals 1.392 to three decimal places. In other words, what we're expecting is that if we were to draw this graph, that there'll be a change of sign somewhere around the 1.392 value. A change of sign being that the graph has gone from, say, minus to positive, or from positive to a minus quantity. Look, I'll explain further. If we were to take two values of x to three decimal places, either side of 1.392, we would have had 1.391, and the one up here would have been 1.393. Now, if we halve this interval, then we've got an x value of 1.3915, and we've got another value up here, if we halve this interval, an x value of 1.3925. So I'm expecting the graph of f of x to cross somewhere in this interval, to cross the x-axis. So it's going to go from, say, a minus quantity to a positive quantity, or a positive quantity to a minus quantity. And that will show me that there is a root somewhere in this interval. So to three decimal places, the root would be 1.392. So to do this, what I need to do is work out what value I get for f of x when x is 1.3915. So that's where we start. We'll just put in f of 1.3915. So x is that value. And if we substitute it into the equation, we need to do 2 times 1.3915 cubed minus the 1.3915 and then minus 4. And if you work this out on your calculator, what you get is a negative value, very close to 0, minus 0.00285 and so on. But the fact is, it's negative. So the graph would have been down here, below the x-axis. Now we need to look at what we get when we put in x is 1.3925. So if we were to do f of 1.3925, I won't write it all out this time, but you can feed this through the equation, put it through your calculator, and you should find you get 0.007771, and so on. Now we get a positive value. So our graph has gone from a negative value down here to a positive value. So we know that assuming this graph is continuous, which it is, there's no break in the graph. In other words, it will have crossed somewhere in this interval. I don't know whereabouts, but I do know that it's crossed somewhere in the interval. Let's just sketch something in, okay? So it might not be quite correct, but it certainly crosses in this interval. So therefore, we can say that because there's been a change in sign going from minus to plus in this interval, then and the curve is continuous, that the root must be 1.392 to three decimal places. So I've written that out here for you. Since there is a change in sign and the curve is continuous over the interval 1.3915 to 1.3925, then x must equal 1.392 to three decimal places. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea. That brings us to the end now of this particular question.